Good morning, guys. It is Monday, Labor Day, working on Labor Day. This is the first time I've worked on Labor Day in many, many, many years. It's, it feels odd to me. Um, I, just, I don't feel like I should be going into work, but it's just weird. Anyway, uh, that's the price you pay for doing something you enjoy, I suppose. I don't mind. I was, uh, I was out for two and a half days last week, as you guys have known, or you may not know, I just didn't come on here. Um, it says it's 58 degrees outside, but it doesn't feel like 58 degrees. I'm going to check the mail, that's why I don't have on my seatbelt, because I had an Amazon package come yesterday, and either they delivered it to the wrong place, which is common, or he shoved it in my mailbox. Yep, he shoved it in the mailbox. <laughs> On a Sunday. Where did it come? Yeah, it came post office. So it is miso paste and uh, artificially butter flavored salt for my popcorn. Well, it still says it's 58 degrees, but maybe it's just me. I'm just hot. I don't know. All right. So, today's what, the 7th? I've lost track of my days. This is what I was talking about. So, I had a stomach bug, and I'm the only place that I can guess that I got it from would be UGO. A grocery outlet. Oh, I'm just gonna make it to the gas station. Um, yeah, I'm a little par paranoid about driving on empty. Um, so yeah, so I got it started up at the top and then it ended up in the bottom and then I had a day of recovery where everything started to get more normal um, and then so my body was sore uh, but Maddie and I went and got her hair cut and had it cut it feels it feels better of course now it's going thin anyway and she confirmed it I don't have bald spots but she said it is very thin in some areas but it's not like completely bald it says it's 58 I'm, I'm hot maybe I'm having a hot flash yeah, who knows anyway so Mary yeah, I cut it off um, it was getting too thin and scraggly looking when I would dry it out so I'm gonna wear it down more often now that it's shorter this is actually the shortest it's been in 20 years oh I forgot to clean my ears um, yeah it's the shortest it's been in 20 years which blows my mind so so yeah so Maddie and I went and got our haircuts haircuts haircut um, <laughs> to take her back in because there was one piece that was like three inches longer than the rest of her hair. I mean, it was like a little tiny clump of hair. It was, it was only like five or six pieces, but it was obvious if you pulled it forward, it was this much longer than the rest of her hair. And that was the only spot. And so the ladies, like the, ha the hairdressers like, she said, well, you know, it, it's going to depend on the part. I said, no, it's just this one piece. If you would just snip that one piece, it'll be even with the rest of it. Well, now, if you want to part it this way, I'm like, she said it several times. There were customers in there, so I'm sure she didn't want to embarrass herself. Instead of saying, oh, I'm so sorry that one got away from me. I mean, that, that would have been cool. I could have handled that explanation. So she snipped it right there with Maddie standing right there in front of her, pulling it forward, instead of putting her back in the chair to fix the error, and starts snipping more off the front. I'm like, 
I mean, she got that piece because it was, she had pulled it forward like I had. I told Maddie, I said, next time something like that happens, I'm just going to take you home and do it myself because that's just ridiculous. That She should have owned up to a mistake, put you back in the chair, but instead she snipped it all right there with Maddie, with Maddie, with her glasses on, her mask on. So Maddie had hair all over the front of her shirt and on her mask from where, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't, mm-mm. My lady, she was closer to my age. Took her time. Made sure everything was even. She seemed seasoned. This girl was younger. She was maybe mid-twenties. Mid to late twenties. The one that did Maddie's hair. But, uh, she, she was very, uh, she didn't like the fact that we came back in, I think. She was nice about it, don't get me wrong, but she was trying to blame it on Maddie's hair. I was like, no, you messed up. It's very obvious. I mean, it was obvious she had messed up. Anyway, so I got a very, um, uh, Worthington makes these things called tender bits. So I did some potatoes up last night with um, sauteed scallions and a little bit of garlic. And I threw in the tender bits and a little bit of vegan butter. With Brussels sprouts on the side. So that was good. It was mild. I've been heavy. So I'm uh, having that for lunch today. I didn't want to go too heavy. I have some beans and rice made up, but I think I need to hold off on the beans for a day or two. So my system gets back to normal. What I was saying was, you know, a, a virus like that, just like the COVID, you can pick it up anywhere touch something somewhere. I put on hand sanitizer after I went shopping at UGO and I'm, I'm almost positive where I got it. Randy thought it might have been there was a recall on some onions for salmonella. That was pretty crazy when recall on onions. Now here's the thing with the recall on an onion though. Onions have shells on the outside, they have skins. Outside skins that kind of protect your your fruit or vegetable, right? Okay, it's, now it's saying it's 60. All right, it's 10 till, but I've got to get gas. Oh, there's Mr. Popo. I don't know if, I'm not holding my phone. I suppose this is not illegal. I guess we're about to find out. Hey, at the pump. Never pay for a price. Okay, well, we're going to stop right here. Huh. It took me approximately four minutes to fill up completely. It's not bad. Okay, would you believe that police officer is still sitting there? I think he's trying to catch somebody. So, needless to say, thank you guys for your well wishes. I appreciate that. I am doing much, much better. I'm still kind of sore. But, um, I had called my doctor and she's like, there's no need to come in. You've got a virus. You just got to wait it out. Unless you get worse. Then you need to come in, which I did not, so I did not. Yeah, he's just gonna sit there. And you guys will probably see him in a moment when I go to moon. And there we go. I guess you didn't see him. He didn't pull out behind me. He's he's catching speeders, but he's not hiding. Normally they hide when they're trying to catch the speeders. 
Anyway, so hopefully I'll get back to my daily routine with you guys. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I caught up on... I've mean, got two and a half episodes left of Ozark. To be at the end of season three. That is a very well done series. And I think it's a Netflix original. It's got Jason Bateman in it. And the blonde from, uh, it played the wife in Truman. She also played um, the main character in Congo. She played a couple of other things too, but she mostly does dramatic roles. really good. I'm starting to not like her character. <laughs> There's a couple of characters on there that I'm not starting to like, not really like. I'm not sure how to feel. When some people get killed, it's like... Oh, they deserved it. Then other people get killed. It's like, no. Don't do that. I am now... Oh. I am now on season six. I'm in the um, second or third episode. Of, about fourth episode of season six on Supernatural. I've got a ways to go on that one. I really like Supernatural, but I can only take a little bit of time because it, it starts to feel like it's redundant. It's like, I don't know, the same thing over and over again. Different town, different character creatures. They're battling more inner... Inner personal issues right now. But, anyway. So, I'm going to leave it with you with this. I'm going to finish off my banana, go into work. Luckily, 80% of my job is sit down. Well, not 80%. We'll say 75% of my job is sit down. So, it's not... Um, I won't have to get up and down too much, hopefully. No, Brandy. Well, Gretchen just got there. Oh. Brandy's taking the day off today. All right, I will see you guys later. Hey guys, it is about come on, about two thirty in the afternoon. I am back home and taking Ramsey outside for a walk. Okay, see, oh, did you see how the see how the light hits my hair? That's how you can tell how thin it is. See, I camouflage it really well, but it's very very thin. Oh, and you can see it over here too. Anyway, yeah, you can see it before. It looks full when I dry it, but when the light hits from behind, you can see see how thin it really is. Anyway, so I'll be wearing it down more. You'll see it. Oh, there it is again. Oh, that's scary looking. But anyway, you guys will see it. You're going to see it down more. Um. Oh, he had to poop. He's like, I got to go outside, mama. So I'm going to sit on my porch because I have since gotten rid of that hornet's nest where I sat here the last time I sat here I had one land on my shoulder uh, so uh, so because it's Labor Day um, we get the option at work if it's a holiday uh, whether we want to go home early or not and uh, since warehouse went home and I was the only one in there Randy Brandy was gone for the day and I was the only one in my actual office area so I was like eh I just go home. But this time it's not because of my health. Although, I, don't get me wrong, my health has vastly improved since I changed my eating habits. When I stray from the way I'm supposed to eat, 
when I stray from the way I'm, I got a tickle in my eye, which is causing me to sneeze. When I stray from the way that I'm supposed to eat, my stomach gets upset and I pay for it. But, Sorry, I still have the tickle in my eye. <laughs> but what I had last week was, I thought it might have been from something I ate. Um, that was a possibility, but more than likely it was from, uh, it's going to come again. <laughs> now, you see me pinch my nose when I do that? I do that so I don't get snot everywhere because <laughs> I don't, I'm not, have, I don't have access to a tissue right now. Ah. Uh. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Hmm, sorry about that. Oh. What are you laying in? What are you rubbing in? Hey, what are you rubbing in? I'm going to do it again. Hey. <coughs> oh my gosh. I was fine in the house. Uh, they came and mowed my grass on, I want to say Friday? No. Saturday. They came and mowed my grass. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it again. Now I'm going to tickle up here that's causing me to want to sneeze. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> oh. What are you rolling in? You can't. Come on. Come in the back. I don't, he's rolling in something and I don't know what. Oh, there it is. There's that thing. Ain't, see? Ain't, see? It's so thin. Oh, my gosh. All right. Come on. Are you done? No, you want to get out in the sun? Well, you know how it was 58 degrees this morning? Which really surprised me. It didn't feel like it was 58. I think maybe my temperature gauge was off on my car because it was 85 when I left the office at 1230. You can tell me it jumped up, what, 27 degrees in just three or four hours? In three hours? Three and a half hours? Four hours? I don't know. I don't think it did. I think my temperature gauge was off on my car. It had to have been. I don't know. But they mowed my grass. I was going to show you guys the field because my landlord has um, bailed up hay that he keeps for, away for the winter to feed his cows. I was going to show you guys if you can see it. See it this way. There we go. You see it? There we go. There's Ramsey. He's trying to get see the bales of hay. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> but yeah, they mowed my grass Saturday, and so uh, they usually come and they'll they'll blow off whatever um, grass clippings end up on my carport. They take a big blower and they blow it off as well. And they weighted and trim around my trees and um, my carport and my front porch. And I don't go on my front porch like I used to. I did when I first moved in here. I haven't in a while. My hose doesn't reach. You, my used to my hose reached my front porch, and I'll show you why I don't go on my front porch much or very often. I've got to keep it maintained because there's a lot of cobwebs. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not. Let's see if the cobwebs, you see the cobwebs pick it up? I mean, I've got a pretty decent, decent sized porch. Um, I've got to wash off my chairs, but cobwebs just accumulate like crazy and I'm constantly knocking them down. But, um, back when I first moved here, I used to sit out on the front porch in my chairs and, you know, whenever somebody came over, if they were a smoker, they'd sit on my front porch and I had a little table with an ashtray and, oh, oh sit breeze. Yay, that feels good. <laughs> He's done. Come on. We'll go back in the house. Oh. So for lunch, I picked up some fried rice and lo mein noodles and some um, vegetable sushi. And what else did I pick up? Some vegetable egg rolls, mushrooms, sauteed green beans, and normally I would get um, their fried potatoes too, but we had fried potatoes yesterday at home, 
So now I'm in the process of making a pot of chili. Let me show you how pretty this is. I've got, let's see, my bell peppers are starting to turn. It's time to turn off. It's got mushrooms and bell peppers and I've got um, dark kidney beans and northern beans and pinto beans and a uh, taco taco chili pack and now I'm trying to reduce it oh I also have some TVP if you guys don't know let me show you what TVP is it is textured vegetable protein so if you want like that hamburger feel or that um, ground beef feel to your food I get this at the commissary but commissary I mean commissary I get this at the um, it's not a military base. I get this in bulk at the village market in Collegedale. It's, it's dried up TVP. This is the beef flavored, which is not flavored with actual beef. It's just seasoned to taste like beef. Um, I get this in bulk. It's so much per pound. It's really cheap. And then here is the chicken bits that you can make like... Um, chicken and rice and stuff with, or chicken noodle soup. And then you can also get the chunks. Let me show you the chunks. <laughs> the chunks look like dog food. It really does. But but when they soak up, they soak up and they, they get twice the size that they are when they soak up water or vegetable broth. They get twice the size that they are and it mimics the texture that the the big chunks mimic the texture of like a steak or like um, beef tips. Just the texture. Oh, sorry. Somebody's messaging me, but it mimics the texture so that um, if you wanted to say you're transitioning or you miss that beefy chew. Those are perfect. I mean, they're perfect. And you don't get any cholesterol. Did I tell you guys my cholesterol is normal? Normal. It hasn't been normal in years. Because I cut the animal fats out of my diet. Now, what I was saying earlier about this being sick and everything. I can always tell when I have had an animal product. Be it cheese, um, sour cream, um, eggs in a batter, dairy, something like that. I can always tell because... I feel it in my gut. I get uneasy and then I get a blood sugar spike um, because my body has gotten conditioned to not having it now. So, which is a good thing. <sighs> I've got, so I delivered the blanket that I made to Miss Amanda on her, for her birthday. And I'm in the process of making a uh, cover for the couch cushion. I'm going to go check these messages, but I just wanted to come on here real quick and let you guys know what's going on. I'm doing much better. Thank you so much, everybody, for your kind wishes and your prayers and goodness. Um, so everything that I am feeling as far as internally, I'm getting from outside sources. As far as my legs go, I'm still having trouble getting started walking. Once I start walking, I seem to be okay. Um, I could only endure it for so long. And then I think I'm okay, and then the next day I feel it. Um, I just have to stay on my medication, continue to lose the weight, and continue to um, eat the way my body needs me to so that I can reverse diabetes, prevent heart disease, um, because my kidney function is, is in the good range. My, um, liver function is in the good range. My calcium is normal. My protein is normal. My, um, all my vitamins are in the normal range. My potassium is normal. And before I started all this, she had me, my doctor, uh, over a year and a half ago had me on, up till a year and a half ago, had me on potassium pills. And if you guys don't know, they are this big. I kid you not. Well, it's kind of an exaggeration. But they're like, I'm not kidding. They're the size of my pinky. 
about half the size of my pinky. And I used to have to break them in half because when I would take one, it would stick to the back of my throat. So I'd have to break it down and then I would put it in like applesauce. And once you put it in liquid, it goes like that. So I eat. I always eat at least one banana a day, sometimes two. I know people that will eat up to five bananas a day, and it cannot hurt you. You will not. There is. There's never been. There's no. There's never been a case of someone having too much potassium in their body. Um, if you get your vitamins in a natural source, that's not taking supplements. If you take your vitamins in a natural source, such as potassium, vitamin C, um, vitamin D from the sun, um, of course, if you're not in a sunny area, you have to take a vitamin D supplement. Um, the only natural form of vitamin that you cannot get from a plant source is vitamin B12. Now, there have been scientific studies that have proven even people who eat meat do not have sufficient vitamin B12 in their system because vitamin B12 is actually not a vitamin. It's actually a mineral and it comes from the ground. And if you do not eat a meat source where they eat the grass that contains the ground, they don't have vitamin B either. And what happens is, is they, the farmers will inject them or they will fortify their food with vitamin B12. I'm cutting out the middleman. I'm just taking the vitamin B12 myself. And the reason why is because the way agriculture has developed over the years, the, the B12 mineral has been taken out of the ground because it's been processed so much. Even the vegetables don't get the vitamin B12 in it like they used to. So you have to take a supplement on that. So even meat eaters, I highly recommend take a vitamin B12 supplement. Um, you may think that you're feeling fine at a young age, but when you get to be my age or older, eventually it catches up with you. I think I'm seeing things. Yeah. Eventually it will catch up with your body. You may think you're fine now. Um, and then you can eat and do whatever you want. But if you don't take care of yourself at a young age, you're not, you're going to have a lot of complications when you get older. And I wish my 30 year old self knew what my 53 year old self knows now, because I would drastically change a lot of the things in my life, not just health wise. I would drastically change a lot of things in my life. Um, For the better. I would not have on rose colored glasses. I would be a stronger person. I'm a strong person, but I would be a stronger person in some aspects of my life. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with that. I may get into that one day. I don't know yet. Um, this is called Young 40 Mom Raw, so, so yeah, be watching for that. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, it's good talking to you guys, seeing you. Thank you for watching. I went over five minutes more than I wanted to. I'm going to wrap this up, piece this together, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, and we've got, we're have got sporting the little short ponytail this morning. <laughs> I, I was filling up my little pill... Uh, sectional. I've got one that's Monday through, I mean, Sunday through Saturday. <laughs> and I set aside today's. Well, hmm. I'm just check my tires. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. My little caution light for when my car s swerves, it's been coming on and usually it does that when my tires are low or they're out of whack. I told you guys about, I had one tire that had 100 PSI and another tire that had 70 PSI. 
which explained a lot. I'm surprised it didn't blow up. I don't have my seatbelt on because I'm going to check the mail. I got I checked it before I got home yesterday, but he may have been running late, so I'm going to check it now. And then I'll come back to explain me eating now. Okay, so. So I'm separating out my pills. And I set aside the ones for today. Now, normally, I would go ahead and put those in a separate little pill bottle. It's a blank pill bottle that I take to work with me. And then take it, take my medicine between 11 and 1. Yeah, there's something wrong with the tire that's... By the way, I'm moving. Anyway, <clears throat> from 11 to 1. Um, well, this morning I wasn't thinking and just blindly went ahead and popped them in my mouth. So I'm having to hurry up and eat something because with three of them, I have to eat something with it. Well, I have been eating my breakfast in the morning, but. I'm wanting to change my routine up to do the intermittent fasting like I told you guys about to clear out my system. <sighs> Even though last week it seemed like it all cleared out. That was toxic though. I want to do it the healthy way. I can feel it. The tires, one of my tires is off. But my little tire light's not on. Usually my tire light will come on before the little swirly light comes on. It's like the little wet pavement sign. That's the that's the uh, warning signal that I get on my dash. It's like a wet pavement sign with the car with the swirls underneath the tires. <laughs> like I said, usually it's because my tire gauge light's on because my tires are out of whack. Of course, now I didn't realize, just some cars. I didn't realize my tires were out of whack because I had one tire that was 30, and then another tire that was 35, and then one tire that was 70, and the other one that was 100. It looked low, so I just kept adding air. I now have my tire gauge as I showed you guys. So I can, yeah. So needless to say, I had to take air out of the other two tires and add air to the other two tires. Because I looked at my manual and I was supposed to have 33, 33 PSI. Now let me tell you something. I know they go low in the summertime because of the heat. No, I'm sorry. They swell up in the summertime because of the heat. They go down when it's cold. But when I left Cleveland Ford, which used to be Larry Hill Ford, the last, the, all three times that they've done my tire rotation, which I don't think they were doing. I don't think they were doing the rotating of the tires, and I'll tell you why. Because the same tire was on the front left every time when I pick up my car. Uh, how do I know it's the same tire? Because it's the same one that was losing air. And now I have I have this small bubble. They had been over inflating my tires to 55 PSI, all four of them, every time. So when one would go down, I would think that it was too low. When in actuality, they were all too high. Because they swell in the summer. Anyway. So I had to tell you my 
my little boring pill story and then my little boring tire story. Nothing exciting going on. Oh, I finished Ozark last night. If you guys have not seen that, it's on Netflix. It is definitely not for kids. Um... It's hard for me to see Jason Bateman as an adult, even though he's my age, because I was so used to seeing him. He may be a couple years younger. I think Justine Bateman is more my age, and then I think I think he's at like three or four years younger. But still, it just—I mean, I see him as a man. I just don't see. I don't know. I just can't. It's hard. When you grow up watching someone when they're a kid on the TV and then they become an adult, like Neil Patrick Harris. I never watched Doogie Howser, but I knew who Doogie Howser was. So, me, I got introduced to watching him steadily on a regular basis on How I Met Your Mother. So that's how I see him as How I Met Your Mother, that character. So he was on Glee for, I want to say, maybe half of a season? Maybe longer. I don't know, he came back. He's very talented. Um, he's done a lot of Broadway musicals, but yeah, seeing Justin Bateman is just really hard. Um, there's, there's a couple of other characters that I've seen before, but for the most part, I told you guys about the mom. She was, the, she's the one that I told you that was, um, in Congo and. By the time you see this, it's night. <laughs> so my car is fogging up or something. It's 62 this morning, so it was 58 yesterday morning. But I know it got hot. It got really hot. two bananas. Bananas are our superfood. They really are. You should look up the healing powers of the banana. Now, um, for you diabetics out there, I'm going to give you a hint, a tip. The reason why I can eat bananas, being diabetic, severe diabetic, well, not severe, it's being controlling now. Um, I was on insulin up until eight months ago. Um, you know, they say that carbs are our enemy, but actually carbs are not our enemy. Enemy Sugar is our enemy. My car, it's not overheating, but the inside. Okay, that's on the outside. Okay, so, the carb thing. <clears throat> Carbohydrates are not the reason why 
your insulin is not taking care of your glucose. Carbohydrate, what, what it is is there's fats in your cells. Because more than likely, if you're diabetic, your triglycerides are very high. Which is the fat in your blood. And what happens is the fat gets in the cells. So the, in, the glucose has nowhere to go. The glucose is supposed to be going in the cells. But because there's fat in your cells, the glucose can't go in. Therefore, when you do your reading, your glucose is going to be high because your glucose is floating around in your blood. And then we'll go. Down here in the south, they call it the sugars. I got the sugars. That's a death sentence. It really is. It shortens your life. Big time. It causes heart disease. Kidney failure. Ret retinopathy. Cause you to go blind. Um, I have heard of study cases of where it has been reversed. But, uh, anyway. So, my point is, if you get the fat out of your cells, you can have all the fruit you want. Because it's not regular, it's not sugar. It's, it's carbohydrates. It's good for you. All the nutrients and the vitamins and the fiber and the, <clears throat> and the minerals and the, I gotta get more strict because I haven't gotten the fat out of my diet. Now, it's good to have healthy fats in your diet. When I say healthy fats, I'm talking like nuts, seeds, avocados. Um, yeah, that's your healthy fats, nuts, seeds, and avocados. told you guys this before I think and this this just it, it just gets my goat it just kills me I know someone who tries to tell me <laughs> who have tried to tell me that um, bananas are, have a lot of fat in them and that avocados don't maybe it's the other way around I'll see you later